Okay, so now we're going to the third physical property that is acidity of carboxylic acid. So, carboxylic acid is a relatively a weak acid as compared to H2SO4, your sulfuric acid, and HCl, hydrochloric acid. Okay, so tapi it is still an acid lah. It still can release H plus. Okay, daripada OH2. Okay, H ni boleh release. So, dia still act an as, as an acid. So, there are two factors affecting the acidity of carboxylic acids. First, you have the resonance effect. Okay, and you have another one that is inductive effect. So, first we're going to apa, talk about resonance effect lah. So, when we are talking about acidity, we will be uh, looking at our acid, okay? And then when it uh, dissolves in water, okay, it becomes the conjugate base, okay? Bila dia dah lose the hydrogen here, given to water, so this becomes H3O+. So, we will look at the stability of our carboxylic ion, our conjugate base for carboxylic acid. So, kalau awak punya carboxylic ion ni, your conjugate base is um, more stable. Okay, kalau dia lebih stable, that means that um, it likes to exist as, in car as a carboxylic ion. Okay, that means that it, your acid, it has high acidity because it can easily remove your H+, donate to water, okay? release H+, and form H3O+. So, we're going to look at the stability of conjugate base. Lah. So, your carboxylate ion, it is very stable because it can form resonance structures where your electrons are delocalized, okay? maksudnya dia um, bergerak, over two electronegative oxygen atoms. So, this is called the resonance stabilization. So, awak punya carboxylate ion tu, okay, dia dikatakan stable because this negative charge is delocalized. Maksudnya, dia bergerak dekat the other oxygen. Okay, ni. Awak punya negative charge ni. First, dia dekat oxygen ni. Lepas tu, dia boleh juga pergi dekat oxygen ni. Okay. So, when the negative charge boleh bergerak, that means awak punya carboxylic ion tu um, lebih stable lah. Dia macam sama rata dia me berkongsi beban negative charge tu. Okay. So, that is why carboxylic acid is more acidic than phenol or alcohol. So, maksudnya kita akan tengok, kita kena compare kalau dengan phenol dengan alcohol ni, dia punya conjugate base macam mana. Kalau conjugate base awak lebih stable, that means your acidity is higher. Okay. So, kalau awak recall, if you recall the stability of phenoxide ion, the conjugate base of phenol, okay, when phenol dissolves in water, you will form phenoxide ion. Okay, the electrons, it is delocalized within the benzene ring. Okay, daripada oxygen ni, okay, it is delocalized juga. So, maksudnya dia akan share juga beban pegang negative charge tu tapi it is within the benzene ring kalau tadi um, kita share electron tu on electronegative oxygen atoms so that is better because oxygen awak tu memang electronegative dia memang nak electron so that's why apa tu carboxylic ion is more stable lah banding dengan phenoxide ion kalau phenoxide ion ni it is still kind of stable Tapi, it is less stable because it is um, not delocalized on other electronegative atoms, okay? Tapi, dia delocalized within your benzene ring, okay? Sini, negative charge, sini, negative charge, sini, negative charge, okay? Alright. So, alcohol pula, okay? When alcohol acts an, as an acid, dia least acidic. Okay, compared to carboxylic acids and phenols because the electrons are being localized. Maksudnya, localized tu dia dilokalkan, dia duduk, dia stuck at one oxygen atom in your alkoxide ion. So, bila alcohol masuk dalam air, dia akan form alkoxide ion like so. Okay, 
So this occult ion dia tak boleh buat any resonance structures. Okay. And that means that this negative charge is localized on this oxygen atom. It is not delocalized anywhere else. Dia tak bergerak pun. Dia tak share beban tu. Okay. So it is the least stable. One more thing. Okay. If you look at your alkoxa ion. Okay. Macam ni. Um, you have this alkyl group. Alkyl group ni, it is an electron donating group. So that means that it will donate. Okay. I can push electron density towards this oxygen that is bearing negative charge. So maksudnya awak tengah tolak negative charge. Uh, I mean electron density banyak lagi benda negatif pergi dekat benda yang lagi negat dah negatif. So itu actually makes your alkoxa ion um, less stable lah because of this R group ni. Awak bagi negative charge dekat benda negative charge bukannya benda positive charge. Okay. So dia destabilize your alkoxa ion. Okay. Okay, tapi awak guna reason for resonance effect ni, you have to talk about how the electrons are being localized at oxygen atom in the alkoxa ions, okay? So that is why alcohol is the least acidic among um, carboxylic acid, phenol and al alcohol, okay? Alright, so next we're going to talk about the second factor that is inductive effect. So, inductive effect, inductive, induction, macam tahu tak induction kuka, induce, itu maksudnya something that is um like, apa, uh, apa ni perkataan tu, dia affect the other, okay, dia akan trigger, trigger um something. So, in this case, it is the effect of your substituent group that is attached to carbon of carbonyl compound. So, how does your substituent group okay, um, affect your carbonyl compound or your carboxylate ion? So, there are two types of groups, substituent groups yang boleh affect your acidity. That is first, electron withdrawing group, EWG. Okay, withdraw maksudnya dia tarik elektron. And electron donating group, EDG. Macam alkyl group, okay. Dia bagi elektron, okay. So, first we're going to look at electron withdrawing group, okay. You have these examples. Your nitro group, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. Okay, kalau you have these substituents, they are electron withdrawing group. So, that means when you have... NO2, let's say here, NO2, attached to your carbonyl, okay, your carboxylic ion, okay, the electron, the negative charge, okay, the electron density will be pulled towards your nitro group, your electron withdrawing group. So, this electron withdrawing group will delocalize the negative charge, yang ni, on the oxygen atom, okay, towards itself. So, dia akan tarik the negative charge yang kat sini kepada diri dia. Okay. So, what happens when the negative charge is being pulled away? So, electron density kat sini makin kurang. So, maksudnya uh, oksigen ni akan menjadi lebih apa? Uh, kurang. Kurang negatif lah. Dia punya negative charge tu akan kurang. So, that means that this hydrogen... Okay, dia akan more easily release. Okay, dia akan, it is more easily um, lost. Okay, sebab tarikan kat sini, negative charge tu is not as strong when you have electron withdrawing group attached to your carboxylic ion. Okay, so therefore, if it is easier to release your hydrogen, that means your acidity in Increases, okay, so if you have more number of electron withdrawing groups, your acidity of your carboxylic acid will increase. Okay, so can you get like electron withdrawing group? Tu. Okay, now we're going to look at electron donating group. So sekarang ni instead of our tari electrons, okay, if you have 
alkyl group, aryl group, or hydroxy, hydroxyl group, OR, or NH2, amine, okay, here, right here, it will donate electron, they can donate electron density, okay, push electron density towards this carboxylate ion. So your carboxylate ion ni, it already has a negative charge and so when you um, push even more electron density towards your carboxylate ion, towards this negative charge, okay, uh, it is actually destabilizing the carboxylate ion, okay. It doesn't want any more um, beban of that electron, that negative charge. So when this one, this oxygen here becomes even more negative, okay, Let's say if you have a hydrogen here, it will be more attracted lah to this oxygen. So that means that it is harder to remove, to break this bond, to release this hydrogen. So that makes your acidity um, lower. Okay, So your acidity of carboxylic acid decreases when you have an electron donating group. Okay, so there are 1, 2, 3, actually I think 4 factors that will affect your um, acidity in terms of electron withdrawing group and electron donating group okay in terms of inductive effect okay so let's see one by one so if you have electron withdrawing group okay let's say you have this carboxylic acid and this carboxylic acid so in this carboxylic acid on your left here you have Cl. So this is an electron withdrawing group. That means that the electron density will be um, <clears throat> withdrawn towards the Cl. Okay, it will be the electron density will be pulled towards Cl from this carboxyl group. So that means that the presence of Cl will stabilize the carboxylic ion. How? By withdrawing the electron density from the carboxylic ion, dikurangkan electron um, density kat sini. Okay, so that means that less negative charge is delocalized over the oxygen atom of the ion. So a more stable N ion is formed, which makes the acid stronger. So you will form a more stable conjugate base. Lah. That means yang ni CO, CO1O, O minus two. Negative charge tu kena tarik kat sini. Okay. So, kurang beban dia. So, that means it will become a more, it is more acidic when you have electron withdrawing group. Okay. Next, let's say if you have two different, if you're comparing two different electron withdrawing groups on the same kind of uh, carboxylic acid. Okay. So, the difference here, you have F and you have Cl. So, between fluorine and chlorine, um, who is more electronegative? Fluorine is more electronegative. That means that it is a stronger um, electron withdrawing group. Lah. So, that means that it has higher um, tendency to attract the electron density towards itself. So, dia akan tarik electron density tu lebih kuat daripada Cl. So, Cl sikit je dia tarik. So, what will happen is that less negative charge is delocalized in 2 fluoropropanoate. Macam ni. Uh, bentuk dia. Okay. So, it is more apa? Your carboxylate, your 2 fluoropropanoate ion will be more stable compared to your 2 chloropropanoate ion. Therefore, this acid will be will have higher acidity the one with fluorine atom as electron withdrawing group okay okay next you have example three so let's say if you have more number of electron withdrawing group okay macam ni awak ada dua so dia akan tarik dia punya power untuk uh, delocalize electron ni negative charge tu akan eh sorry 0 1 o yang ni Negative charge tu akan lebih kuat lah. So kalau more, eh less electron, uh, less negative charge is being delocalized in your ion here. Then that means this bond will be weaker. So it is easier for you to remove, to release H plus. 
that means that your acidity increases when you have more electron withdrawing group okay okay next if we're going to look at the position of electron withdrawing group juga so ini adalah position of your electron withdrawing group dari your carboxyl group okay so if it is closer okay the induct the inductive effect yang dari daya tarikan ni okay tarik electron density tu dia lebih kuat kalau jauh macam ni macam dia tak sampai sangat lah dia it's not as strong as the inductive effect here okay so that means if the distance between this electron withdrawing group and the carboxyl group is greater okay less inductive effect that means the electron the electron block the acidity of your acid ni will be um lower lah will be weaker okay so, siapa yang lebih dekat dengan carboxylic acid, your carboxyl group will have higher acidity lah. Okay. Finally, we're going to talk about the presence of electron donating group. Tadi kita cakap pasal electron withdrawing group je kan. Sekarang kita cakap pasal EDG. EDG maksudnya donate, dia akan berikan electron density, dia push electron density towards your um, C double bond O, O minus carboxylic ion tu. Okay. So let's say, okay, kalau awak punya electron donating group tu contohnya is R group like alkyl, okay, your hydrocarbon, CH2CH3 tu, okay, alkyl group. So banding when you have, let's say, this acid and this acid, ethanoic acid dengan propanoic acid, okay. So ethanoic acid has one metal group a uh, one carbon okay this is the length of your alkyl group your electron releasing group and here you have a longer um, r group okay larger r group so that means that the electron releasing properties will be stronger in this acid Betul tak? so if it is stronger when this is a stronger releasing group than ch3 Therefore, this EDG will destabilize the carboxyl ion even more. Okay, so kalau dia destabilize, that means that the acidity will will decrease. Okay, so this will the larger R group will decrease the acidity of your carboxyl acid even more. Alright. Okay, so ini adalah summary jelah for factors affecting the acidity. Ni awak boleh baca sendiri.